Hi, and welcome to Frankie's First Foods, vlog number four. on how it's going with introducing solids to Frankie. We have introduced four things so far. We've actually gone pretty slow. In the beginning, she had a bit of constipation, so I actually stopped the solid foods altogether and waited till she had uh, regulate, regular bowel movements. And now everything's okay, everything's going really well. We've introduced the butternut squash, sweet potato, peas, and just today we've introduced carrots. carrots uh, I think might be her favorite thus far. So today we're going to be discussing why veggies are the preferred first food instead of rice cereal or meat for that matter. Rice cereal is still the most recommended as a first food for babies. The reason for that being is that doctors are a little concerned about uh, babies having enough iron in their in their diet and therefore want to recommend really high uh, foods that are high in iron as a first food to get that iron into them. So cereals have been fortified with iron. They don't naturally contain a large amount of iron, but they are fortified and that's why they are recommended as a first food. However, study after study has shown that exclusively breastfed or form even formula fed babies do get enough iron in their diet. Same with formula fed babies, because formula has also been fortified with iron. Uh, although it's not as absorbable as, uh, breast, as the iron in breast milk, it still is a good source of iron. The same source pretty much as what you would find in cereal. And that is why they don't necessarily need that, that iron from the cereal either. So really, again, back to what I said and mentioned in the first vlog, I'm, and what I continue to mention is uh, I'm all about introducing foods according to the maturity of their development and according to what is uh, that they're capable of digesting at the stages of life that they're at. So for instance, Frankie, in the very beginning stages of ever introducing solid food, I'm going to go with something that is the most digestible and easy for her. Rice cereal can be quite heavy on the digestive systems. Often rice cereal is highly processed containing very little nutrient value, um, not very high in minerals and vitamins, and therefore doesn't really appeal to me. And for instance, taste. We're trying to open up her taste buds. She's Her taste buds are growing and changing every day. Giving her this bland food that you know you wouldn't want to eat yourself. I mean, why would she want to eat it? This is where, as we expand her palate, we're also going to make her in more used to all these flavors, therefore making her hopefully less of a picky eater later on in life. Meat is a highly recommended food. And the reason for this being is the same as the rice cereal because of its iron content. No doubt meats contain very, very, they're great sources of iron and they're a great source of absorbable iron. The problem is, is that we're introducing it too early. These are being recommended as a first food as early as even four months of age. Uh, but if you do wait until the six month mark, still too early. Studies have shown that hydrochloric acid, baby's hydrochloric acid comes in at around nine months of age, eight to nine months. And uh, before that, they don't have enough hydrochloric acid or HCL in order to break down meat uh, in their little digestive system. It's actually even recommended to hold off until one year of age before introducing meat to your baby. That includes chicken, that includes pork, uh, fish, and red meat. Thank you so much for joining me at Frankie's First Foods. Tune into my next vlog as I'll be showing all you mamas on the go what are some great products that you can purchase to make sure your baby's still well fed.